guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel, welcome back to these videos. Um, I am over in London for a couple of days with work. Uh, I'm no stranger to London, I've been over in London a lot over the years with work and personally as well. Um, one thing I've noticed over the years as I keep coming back to London is that the number of people who ride around London um, on their bikes is growing. The number keeps getting more and more. Every time I'm here, there's more and more bikes, which is incredible. I know London reasonably well. I know my way around London reasonably well, but I realized recently that I know my way around London by using the tube and not actually you know, walking or uh, being on the surface above ground. So I thought for this trip, um, rather than taking the tube to my different places that I need to go to, I thought I would hire a bike. So yeah, I've always wanted to um, kind of try riding around London. Um, so I thought on this trip, why not give it a go? There's loads of little uh, public hire bike stations dotted all around the city, um, sponsored by Santander. Uh, Boris Bikes are affectionately known as, because um, I think Boris Johnson introduced them when he was Mayor of London. So uh, I thought about hiring one of those. And then last night I remembered that Brompton actually have public hire stations dotted around all over the UK, actually. Um, they, have, they have hire stations all over the UK, but they have a lot in London. Uh, I've always wanted to ride a Brompton as well and try a Brompton, so I thought, do you know what? I'm going to hire a Brompton instead of a, just a Boris bike. So um, that's what I'm going to do. So there's a little uh, Brompton docking station beside me. I've kind of reserved a bike on the app. It's dead simple. You, you get their app, you register on the app, put in your car details, all that kind of stuff. Go and browse where you want to um, sort of hire a Brompton from. Um, what I'll tell you what's available and then you just turn up get your Brompton out of the out of the locker unfold it and uh, and away you go so it, yeah the app's dead easy to use and really easy to reserve one of these I've never ridden to London before I've also never ridden a Brompton before so this is maybe a terrible idea uh, <laughs> but we'll see how I get on first challenge is to actually get the bike out of the locker and then unfold it I've never built a Brompton before so let's see how, how we get on with that Okay, lovely purple Brompton retrieved. Let's see if I can set this up.
Okay, that was reasonably painless, given it's my first time ever working with a folding bike. That took me like two or three minutes. Um, I'm sure Brompton owners and folding bike owners can do it much faster. But yeah, two or three minutes. And I have myself a nice Brompton Sea Line folding bike. Um, the other thing that I haven't quite figured out is because I don't know my way around London overgrind, uh, I don't quite know how I'm going to navigate using Google Maps or something while riding the bike, but I'll give it a go. And what's the worst that can happen? Safety first, of course. I have brought my helmet from home to wear um, while cycling around London. I wear my helmet everywhere I'm cycling, so yeah, safety first. Um, I do know roughly, broadly, where I'm going um, to get to the office, so I'm kind of going to use my intuition and the research that I've done of how to get there, and then I can just pull over and pull out Google Maps if I need. Um, okay, let's go. Okay, that took like two minutes to get here. Um, it took no time at all, but uh, I'm now at the office, so time to fall down the little Brompton, uh, go do some work, and I'll see you guys after work.
Okay, work is done for today. I'll be back in the office tomorrow, but work is done for today. And I've come, I've checked into my hotel, and um, I need to get some dinner. Uh, so we're gonna go out for a little spin on the Brompton, find somewhere to have some dinner. Also, there's a bike shop in London that I want to check out uh, via, via, via Atelier, Atelier. I don't know. Basically, there's a bike shop in London, up in King's Cross that I want to go check out. It's open till seven o'clock this evening, so I am going to jump on the Brompton, go for a little spin on the Brompton up towards King's Cross, check out this bike shop, and then gonna come back down this way and find somewhere for dinner. So this will give me a, a bit of a feel for riding the Brompton a little bit longer. I think it's about three miles away. So um, this will give me a bit of a feel for riding the Brompton a little bit further and for, you know, seeing what London cycling infrastructure is like. You know, some people, they come to London, they want to see Buckingham Palace, they want to see the Tower of London, the Houses of Parliament. Um, I come to London primarily to work, but uh, I want to check out their bike lanes. Of course, what else would you want to do with a free evening in London? So yeah, I'm going to go check out the London cycling infrastructure, check out Via Bike Shop, and then try and find somewhere for some dinner. And then what I'm going to do is after I get dinner, I'm going to take the Brompton back, leave it back to its little docking station this evening, because tomorrow um, I'm just going to walk to the, uh, the office and walk then back to the train later. So that is the plan for now. That was quite the experience, cycling through central London at rush hour. Anyway, I've made it up to the, the bike shop. The bike shop is called Via, Via Atelier. So I've just been in and had a, had a nosy round and chatting to one of the guys who works there. Um, super, super cool bike shop. Um, kind of like a concept store. Um, so they have kind of some clothing and apparel and different things from you know, Pock and Rafa, uh, Universal Colors, 
uh, lots of different kind of brands. Um, but yeah, just more of a, almost like a cycling art gallery. Some really nice bikes up on the wall. Some really nice, uh, there's one of the bikes there the guy was telling me is 3D printed titanium. Incredible, it's just unbelievable. Like a piece of art rather than a bike. But yeah, that was a cool little shop to go to. I didn't buy anything, but yeah, some nice, some nice gear. And nice to be able to see like universal colors and pock jerseys and stuff in person so often I buy cycling stuff online because there isn't really a boutique style bike shop like this in Northern Ireland so so often I'm buying stuff online I don't know what the quality is like I don't know what the fits like that sort of thing so it's cool to cool to see that um, but yeah good good bike shop and um, got a recommendation for somewhere for dinner as well so I'm gonna go uh, get a burger for dinner I think I'm gonna take my little Brompton which I discovered my Brompton has a name. Where does it go? Where is it? Yes, here. My Brompton is called Forge Wood. So I'm gonna go return my little purple Brompton, Forge Wood, to its uh, docking station down near Liverpool Street Station again, and then go find some dinner uh, I'll give you a, give you my thoughts on the Brompton and cycling in London. I've uh, left my little Brompton back at the Brompton Hire dock box thing. Um, I've grabbed some dinner 
Um, I've come down to a slightly more scenic place uh, to film the ending of this video rather than filming it in uh, an underpass under Liverpool Street Station down by the Thames. It's the Shard. We've got HMS Belfast and we've got Tower Bridge behind me. So yeah, a bit prettier than the underpass under Liverpool Street Station. Um, anyway, what did I think of the Brompton, the Brompton bike? Well, I mean, why was I looking at Brompton bike first of all? So I have this notion, I get these notions sometimes. If you know me, or if you know my wife, you'll know I get these notions. I have this idea that I would like to try and commute more often to the office that I work in by bike. But it's 30 mile each way, very hilly. Um, so I can only do it in the summer. I can only do it occasionally by bike the whole way to the office. So then I'm thinking, could I cycle to the train, my local train station, get the train and cycle to the other side? Well, yes, I could, but I can't take my full-size bike or any of my full-size bikes on the train, but I can take a folding bike on the train. So that's what I'm thinking. Maybe look at a folding bike in the future, cycle to the train station, get the train to Belfast, and then cycle to work on the days that I'm going to the office. Um, so that's kind of why I was looking at a folding bike and why I wanted to try a Brompton. What did, I, what did I think of the Brompton? Like I said, it was a three-speed Brompton Sea line that I had. Um, tiny bike, really tiny little wheels. Um, but surprisingly fast for all the size of the wheels. I was pleasantly surprised with that. Um, when I first started cycling on it today, it was definitely a bit wobbly. It takes some getting used to the stability of it. It feels very, very different to a normal bike, that's for sure. But uh, yeah, it feels a bit, bit wobbly, but you get used to it pretty quickly. Uh, really, I mean, the fact that it folds down so small is incredible. And it's really quick and easy to unfold. Um, and to get the bike set up and, and get going on it. Um, but it is, well, I find it really difficult to fold up. Now I'm sure, um, I'm sure if you use a Brompton all the time, you can fold it up, fold it down, whatever, in seconds. Um, but yeah, I find it tricky uh, to fold. I find it, um, it, it, uh, it definitely confused me a few times today. Uh, especially the pedals. Couldn't work out how to fold the pedals in. No idea at all. So anyway, um, yeah, cool little bike. Definitely a different different feel to it. Um, not sure. I would go for a Brompton because of the size of the wheels. I maybe like something with slightly bigger wheels. But anyway, we'll see. So I used Brompton's bike hire scheme. So they have, like I said earlier, these stations dotted all over the UK where you can go and pick up a Brompton and hire it for as long as you want. I think it costs like a fiver a day. You hire it for as long as you want and then you return it. And that was dead easy to use, dead easy to pick the bike up. Again, a little bit confusing about how you return the bike. I actually had to book a separate reservation to return the bike, which wasn't clear when you were hiring the bike in the first place. Um, but I got there in the end and left the bike back. So all in all, Brompton, pretty cool little bike. Definitely good fun. Um, will I get a Brompton? Probably not. Will I get a folding bike of some kind? Maybe. We'll see. <coughs> Watch this face. What about then cycling in London for the first time ever? I'm from rural countryside in Northern Ireland. I'm used to reasonably empty roads. If and when I do cycle in urban areas, it's my local town or it's Belfast. So it's not super busy. It is not London. So how was cycling in London for the first time? Um, well, you need nerves of steel, that's for sure. Uh, it definitely feels sketchy. Uh, it definitely feels a bit dangerous. Uh, I was cycling at rush hour as well. So I finished work and I cycled up to uh, via bike shop at rush hour um, so it definitely felt a bit, a bit sketchy you have to have your wits about you and keep your eyes peeled like at all times not actually so much for cars and traffic but for other cyclists and pedestrians those were the those were the things that nearly caught me out the most were the the other cyclists and were the pedestrians the chinook gone over
Don't say Chinooks every day. Yeah, gotta keep your wits about you. Watch out for pedestrians and cyclists. Um, watch out for cars and traffic and stuff as well, obviously. But yeah, pedestrians and cyclists were the were the things that nearly caught me out the most. There were hundreds, if not thousands, of cyclists today. Um, yeah, like London's absolutely coming down with cyclists. It really is incredible. There are bikes everywhere of all types road bikes, mountain bikes, e-bikes, folding bikes. Uh, the infrastructure is, again, pretty good. I was really surprised, really pleasantly surprised by the infrastructure here in London. That's again maybe because I'm coming from, you know, rural Northern Ireland and even urban Northern Ireland. The cycling infrastructure is not great, let's be honest. Um, so I was really impressed. I'm sure people who cycle in London day in, day out, uh, probably take issue with the cycling infrastructure it's probably not maybe there but yeah I was really really impressed it has everything from full completely segregated cycling super highways almost like wide segregated cycling paths which are incredible you had some of the standard painted on bike lanes um, you had bike lanes that were separated by bollards you have the normal stuff at the set of traffic lights where all the bikes go and um, you actually have some other stuff which you know would be amazing to see back in Belfast proper J turns so if you're coming up to a junction on a bike and you're turning right you actually go left and wait for the those lights to go and um, proper cycling traffic lights so there were separate traffic lights for cyclists versus uh, cars and that sort of thing so that was that was pretty cool uh, so yeah it was really really impressive cycling infrastructure probably the most impressive thing about it is certainly in the center of London uh, the cycle paths and the cycle lanes were largely connected up they were connected up and you could go all kinds of different directions uh, destinations and things were signposted there was uh, directions on the ground as well so like it was it was a proper it was a proper bike network it was really really incredible and um, there's no point in sticking a token bike lane in somewhere in Belfast that doesn't go anywhere the network has to be connected up so that was that was probably the most impressive thing as I went further out from the center uh, the bike lane started to disappear and it was just cycling on normal roads but uh but yeah definitely impressed by the infrastructure and um, certainly cycling around london today was an experience i wouldn't necessarily say it was an enjoyable experience uh, it wasn't a stressful experience but it wasn't like completely relaxing it uh it definitely takes some attention the other thing that was tricky is again if you live in london you'll know your way around. You'll know where you're going, you'll know where the roads are going. For me, never having cycled to London before, I was having to stop fairly frequently, pull out my phone, check Google Maps, check where I was going, didn't really know where I was going, followed other cyclists, followed signs where there were signs, winged it a little bit, I knew roughly what general direction I was headed in and needed to head in. But yeah, you definitely need to have a pretty good knowledge of the streets and uh, your way around London so I, I probably wouldn't recommend it for just like a casual tourist who's coming to London for like a day or something but yeah if you lived here it would be it would be fine and um, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, if you have uh, please hit like leave me a comment and don't forget to subscribe and um, if any of the rest of you ride folding bikes do leave me a comment and let me know what bikes you ride how you find them all that kind of stuff I'd like to know more about that uh, but anyway that's it for this vlog. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video.